Hello, I'm Fontani, that's Cargos. Today we're going to talk about the test count, test users for the Oculus Quest 2. So what are the test users? They are accounts that simulate a real Oculus and Facebook account that you can use for your Oculus Quest 2. So what does it mean? It means that you can use this fake account to log in into your Oculus Quest 2, even if you don't have a Facebook account. Uh, you can use it in your organization to test your application on multiple devices without you having to log in with your personal accounts with every one of them. So they are a feature for developers. So they let developers make tests, install IPKs on the device and things like that. So they're not meant to substitute the Facebook login because the personal Facebook login is still used to um, access the Oculus Store and all the main features of the device. So with a test account, actually, you are limited to side load stuff with SideQuest or IDB or whatever you use for that. And to test your application, even with the social Facebook feature of that application, but you can't use anything else. You can't even find application with a test account. It is really a fake account you can use for testing. And this can be very useful for organizations that want to make tests with multiplayer games, maybe some educational institutions or something like that, or developers that just want to side quest and not use a personal account or with Facebook, you know. That. We don't allow that thing of the Facebook login. Um, so if you just want to side load, this can be a useful thing to know. So let me um show you how you can create it it's super easy so here you are inside my oculus for developer dashboard so this is the dashboard or my developer account in my <clears throat> organizations for sure if you're here most probably you know how to create a developer account in oculus and also how to create your organization so if you don't know how to create an organization actually you can see here you can select the organization, you can create a new one, you specify the name, blah, 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 or whatever, uh, select this, make a name, like fake organization, like who? Okay, blah, 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 this way. Then submit, you can create an organization name, and then you are actually developer. You have to perform these steps anyway if you want to unlock your Oculus Quest to be in developer mode. So I won't go in much details here on how to create an organization, how to create a developer account, because there are many tutorials out there about this, but I'll just show you that there is an easy way. Now let me select Emotion on my <clears throat> first organization, Oculus, which, which I made some, even a rejected title on the game. I used it to do some test experiences. It was my first, you know, startup that I had. And you can see here in the members of the application, uh, etc., there are all the details of the organization. And you can have this test users tab. Now I've created already one. So let me add another test user. So you remember, you select your organization, you just go in test users, and then you go add test user. And then you have to specify the username prefix because the name will be randomly assigned by Facebook. Your username prefix is like the prefix you want to do to this username, and then it will add a random sequence of characters. So let's say this fake Tony user. Email prefix is the same, so I can put here another uh, the prefix, the first part of a fake email that will be generated for this account. So fake. Uh, fake mail, I don't know. Password, whatever you want, the password of this account, so I don't know, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four is the pin, it's in US, US, user account, one. And then you can select if this developer is part of your organization or not. So is this just a test user or even a test developer of your organization? Um, let's say it is. And I don't know why this is not activated actually, but okay, yes. So I can say to create how many users with this data. So let's say I want to create five. So five users and are all friends with each other. And then this is the message. Every time you create a test user, it will be an associated Facebook test user. 
This means that every test user actually can test all the features of your application, even the ones that require Facebook login, like you know, friendship, rooms, whatever. And that's incredibly interesting. This means that with the test user, you can really run every kind of side of other application in its full power. You can pass entitlement checks if a developer you know what I'm talking about, all the checks, you can use all the products on the platform. So it's really a complete user with exception that you can friend real people and you can't uh, use this store. So you can download anything on the store and you won't be able even to use the new store, the new side loading store, the official side loading way of distributing software by Facebook. So you can just use APKs. And it's interesting, if you look at the FAQ of the Facebook developer account that took peer developer for Oculus and Facebook, you don't have to use a Facebook account yet. So you can be a developer um, of Oculus Experience without having a Facebook account. So this means that there is a way to use the Oculus Quest without having a real Facebook account because you can register as a developer with the Oculus account and then you can create your test user account to log in in the Oculus Quest show. That's this sort of interesting thing to remember if you want to use the bare device without all the store and all the features that it actually has. And you can really log in into here, but to do that, actually there are two things to, to remember. You can actually use it as a real account, you can also in the future log in, add your test user account to your real account on your Quest. So, but I tried to follow this suggestion, but actually it doesn't work on my on my Quest. Sure, there is not the, the way to add more users to the device yet. So probably it's something that is coming in a future update because it says I can add another user in parallel with my account and add a test user account. So I've not tested it on my device because actually it's, I will have to factory reset it, but this is the super easy way to create them. So after we are returned here, so with all this data, let's hit on submit. And let's see what is going to happen here. It will, now it will elaborate all the data and we actually create five more users on my organization because I asked that to create five developers for my org and they all friends each other. So now let's wait for this magic to happen. Okay, so we are turning here. Actually, we have, we see that we have only one user. The reason is that while shooting this video, actually when I specified five users, it has not created it or kept saying an error as a code, blah, blah, blah. So actually I remade the previous step specifying only one user but actually, I think it's a temporary problem. And when it will get solved, you can get more than one user at a time. So now for the purpose of the video, you've seen this new user, fake Tony user with some characters after that, fake mail with some character after that, and always the, the Facebook network.net. Um, with this user, you can manage the friendships. So you can make friends with the other test user that I had created. It can't be friend with real user. Remember, fake users can only be friend with other fake users. And then you can also select them and delete them or export to CSV so they can also import them in the future. Um, always keep the same name, for instance, for your test users. And it's just interesting that my organization now I have two fake users to register as developers. So actually, now I've created these two fake accounts I can use to log in on my Oculus Quests um, so that I won't, I won't need to have a real Facebook account to log in on that. Of course, now I have a Facebook account to use my Quest at the full power for the reviews, etc. So these in some way inside, the, you know, the, all the Facebook servers are of course associated with my Facebook account. But actually, it has been my choice to um merge the facebook conclus account choice I, mean, <laughs> I was forced to be able to use the quest too but anyway i could create maybe a new oculus account from scratch or something like that and uh be able to make do all of this without uh, the actual facebook account but this is very important especially if you are imagine if you are uh educational institution you just need 
an Oculus developer account and create 10 fake accounts to register your quests or you are a little startup and want to make some tests for multiplayer games you don't need to have all the Facebook accounts or personal Facebook accounts of people yeah some people of you may say these are cases for the Oculus for business stuff I'm sure of that actually it is for the license but we also know that freelancers or people like that, maybe I'm a freelancer, I want to do a test on experience I'm developing with two other people and creating just Oculus for business stuff, just for some tests, probably sometimes it's a bit too much. So this kind of solution is what can help me in testing uh, what I'm developing with more devices. So I hope that it is clear if you have understood perfectly how to create your fake users for the request tool. So let's come to a moment and try the test user because actually oh, we should try it on my device but I don't want to factory reset my quest to just to make this test for this video. But it's the same if we try to log in actually to the Oculus app because the Oculus app is the one that is required to log in on the, on the device as well. So let's see if we can log in on Facebook on the Oculus app on my phone where I just disconnected from my a real personal account and let's see if I can log in with this fake account so let's see, continue with Facebook so it asked me an email and password so let's try with this email with Emma let's try with Emma fake mail okay and then the password it's one two three four of course I will remove this account after this video so that you can't log in with it uh, and then you say go and say okay oculus want to access your facebook account i don't have this for facebook account and i don't my name is not emma so okay continue as emma why not uh, don't save the password and bam it's a moment to configure your vr profile so i'm actually a complete vr profile with this fake user the facebook profile that is completely fake so these are all the settings for VR. Uh, I can also add the payment meter. Um, I can select the headset, but now I don't want it actually to, to work with it. So let's keep it for now. And now, welcome Emma. Emma has a store, actually it can't buy stuff, I guess. Emma has such a thing and there's other fake account as a fake one i guess you can simulate the buy of this title also theoretically cannot buy stuff let's try <laughs> okay so ah okay so from the app it lets me actually to buy stuff but then probably i can't use them on the device or oh, there is some bug who knows so <laughs> maybe you can do everything with this kind of accounts but i guess not anyway and then you have all the, the pin you can make to simulate the payments because they have a pin actually and you can do whatever you want and the funny stuff is actually if i go to chrome with, on facebook <laughs> you see i have a real facebook account associated with this person with the, the friends requests the messages uh, whatever I want. So it's a real test Facebook account associated with a real test Oculus account. That's that's incredible. I think Facebook has done a really great job with this. It's they feel so real this kind of account. And that's it for today. I hope you like this video where I show you how you can create a test account for your Oculus Quest 2 or your Oculus Quest 1 or whatever Oculus device that you want. I hope this has been informative for you and if you have some questions just ask them in the comments of this video of Conta Oculus support and for now I'm thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel and um, to make me happy donate on my Patreon to want to support my hard work in the VR community and I wish you a happy VR day bye bye